Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On this video, we're gonna try to bring this late 1800s axe head back to life and start working again. Well, we got scraper slash pry bar. I don't know if you've seen that video yet, but we put this puppy back to work. Does pretty good. Flapper, bench vise, Got a new hickory hand over this old axe head. Vice grips. Got the old worldly disc on there. Start shooting off some uh, ends into your skin. Yeah, I'm not wearing long sleeves today. It's too hot for that. I'll suffer and get poked with uh, some barbs. So I don't know if I said flapper or not. And the old axe head. Cast iron. It has been beaten like a... Ooh, been beaten like Bart Simpson. Are you little... It is all folded over and uh, getting choked up there. She's a beauty though. She's got a lot of life left in her. And she actually has a good blade on it. And we'll sharpen that up a bit, but she is not bad at all. Butte. Love how you can see how she's tacoed out. She got beat when she was younger. That is for sure. Heavy lifting around here. A lot of wood cutting in the winter. Even though we don't have that long of winters around here. And I got her pretty well pointed up. Nice point on the end of her there. I focused right on the edges here. Grinded her on down to where it can almost cut you 
right now as it is. She's pretty sharp. She is a beauty. Look at how she's tacoed in. She's a little tacoed in here too. I tried to bend it back with the vise, but I think we'll get the handle in there, no problem. Just come plunk her on right like that. All right. She's about due for some paint. I might put the handle on first though, I don't know. Maybe not. Because I'm going to be beating it on there and it's going to mess the paint up. Yeah, we'll handle her up. We can tape her off before we paint it. I like the sound of that. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to get the old staple out of the end here. If we need to, we'll put shims in it, but I'm just going to see if she'll go on. Just like she is. Right like that, and I guess we'll beat her on down there. Oh, she isn't working. shims needed I, mean, I guess I could put some up there but that sucker ain't going anywhere she is about to storm her rear end off I knew it was coming I better clean up man this guy's a champ I've already knocking the paint off of it but we got rush treatment under there it's our last revival, or restoration, whatever you want to call it. She's a beauty. She's a workhorse now. And this puppy, oh, she might not even need paint. She might, she might just need a uh, spray. I do kind of like that beat the heck up look. You can't really tell this one was buried for a hundred years. This is as old as that. And this one looks a lot newer. I painted her and all. The hatchet is a beauty. If I do say so myself, ladies and gents. Alright. Proud of these guys. You like it. You get put back to work. Mm-hmm. There you have it. We gave her a shot of some Permatex rust treatment. But I think we're going to keep her just like that. I like the shine to it. Yeah, she's pitted. But give her a break. She was underground for 100 years. She was beaten. Beaten hard. You can just tell by her little wing sticking out there. Her V-neck. She shouldn't have that. But... She is a beauty. She sealed up nice. Absolutely beautiful. Got that nice shine on it. We could even buff that out and make her pitted and super shiny. But anything we find, it's gonna be pitted because it's <clears throat> gonna be at a house that's been gone for at least 80 years. Beauty.